My name is William Alexander. I'm originally from Washington, D.C. I'm a 2004 graduate of the School of Engineering and Applied Science with a degree in Mechanical Engineering and a 2006 graduate of the School of Business with a degree in the MBA program. One of the concerns my mom had growing up was uh, the quality of education that was available to me in D.C. public schools. So she really tried hard to find some of the best programs in the area for me to be able to attend and, and uh, grow and mature. So the, the result of that was that I spent a lot of time, although we lived in the same residents moving from school to school. Well, ultimately, with all that moving around, I finally found a home where I kind of rounded out my development at uh, the School Without Walls Senior High School, which is right down on GW's campus. The Trachtenberg Scholarship was a game changer for me. Uh, it was one of the things that you had I'd heard about beginning with my freshman year. It's such a transformative experience when you see one of your peers who's a couple years older than you apply for and receive that scholarship. Just seeing what doors and opportunities that opened up for them uh, made it something that I, I really wanted to strive to achieve in my own life. And one of the things that really made uh, that commitment real to me was just watching my parents uh, try to get my older sister through college. And for my younger sister, who's only four years younger than me, I didn't see how we were going to be able to put the rest of us through school and I just felt like it was an incumbent upon me to do whatever it took uh, to, to qualify and, and get the scholarship so that my younger sister had a chance to attend college as well. One of the things that was probably most instrumental to me in my academic career was when I was able to take uh, MAE 192, which is like our manufacturing machining processes course. A lot of what you study in engineering is physics and uh, calculus based. I didn't get the practical application of it until I got into that course. And so you start to figure out the dollars and cents of what it takes to innovate and create something. So it's like one of those things that, that really stayed with me long after my academic career was done. Just some of the excitement that comes from trying to take an idea and bring it into fruition in the real world. One of the things I'm still involved with at GW now is in my capacity as the chairman of the Engineering Alumni Association. So what we try to do is create opportunities for alums to be able to come back, network, um, convene, share ideas, and then also engage some of the current students now to be able to offer them advice in terms of career paths. You realize that you know, when folks took that time to, to do that for you, uh, how much of an impact that has, and you kind of make the sacrifice to be able to contribute and help somebody out you think you're going to go someplace just to get a degree, get an education, and you end up coming out of it with lifelong friendships and picture books full of memories, realize, yeah, this was one of the best decisions I made in my life. Maybe number two. Life <laughs> might be number one. The first day I met Will was at the first day of cheerleading tryouts. I remember standing against the wall just kind of waiting for what the next thing was. And then this um, guy just kind of is walking <laughs> toward me. My first thought when I saw a gym was like, that's the type of girl that I want to marry. And I knew that the moment she walked in. It was really refreshing that it was a young woman, beautiful, that knew exactly what she wanted out of life and she was going to go after it. And it stuck with me. Well, you always forget to say though, when I did like you at one point <laughs> in the first year, it was kind of like, I liked him, but he didn't like me. And then later he liked me, but I didn't like him. <laughs> and it took like, what, eight years to get to a mutual liking? Yeah. <laughs> This is the George Washington University, and what we make is history. <laughs>